Hey guys, happy Wednesday, and we got some bench press for you today. The rep scheme and approach will be the same thing we did on Monday with the uh, back squats. So we're gonna take 12 to 15 minutes, building up to a five rep max for the day. All right, uh, we did some bench press in the last cycle, but it was more on the lighter side with that super set. So here we'll be going heavier. This is all we're doing. So uh, a little bit different approach because the weight will be heavier. So reminder, when we set up, number one, the grip, we always talk about this. There's various places you can put your hands. We prefer that thumb distance from the knurling mark or just outside shoulder width because it translates to different pressing move, uh, movements that we do in CrossFit, such as ring dips, push-ups, handstand push-ups, jerking overhead, all that stuff. So uh, if you like wide, that's fine. It's a little more stressful on the shoulder, uh, but again, personal preference there. We're just giving our recommendation. So when we set up, okay, we grab the bar. Feet, you wanna bring back under your hips so you can press down through your heels. You wanna feel tension in your hamstrings and your butt when you set up, okay? When the bar comes out of the rack, okay, so I'm pressing through my heels, I bring the bar out of the rack, and then pull my shoulder blades down against the bench and squeeze the barbell aggressively with my hands. It's not just passively sitting in my palms, right? but I'm actually squeezing the bar, engaging more muscle in my arms, pressing through my feet, shoulder blades pulled back. Okay, so those are the things to practice when you're warming up. Take it like any big lift, take a big breath, big chest. Touch your chest, drive back out with as much speed as you can. So big breath, touch your chest and lock out. Okay, after five, the bar goes back in the rack. So um, I always point out if you have any shoulder issues, the straight bar can be tough on, on people with uh, any shoulder issues. So you, dumbbells here, you can use as a substitute. Uh, for those that are new, same thing we did on Monday. You can focus on a lighter weight, but do tempo. So you're gonna slow on the way down, fast on the way up. That makes a lighter weight feel more challenging and helps reinforce good position, all right? Um, as far as spotting goes, when we're spotting, uh, if you need a spot, ask somebody. And the spotter is not gonna help do reps if you're hitting failure. The idea is it's all you, right? If you can get the rep, great. The spotter won't touch the bar. If you're struggling and the bar is coming back down, you're failing, the spotter will just help you right back to the top and you're done, okay? They're not gonna help you part way through the whole thing, okay? They're just there if you fail and they're gonna rack it up. So uh, that's the bench press. Let's talk about the workout. All right, guys, we got a fun workout for you. It's gonna have some light hang power cleans coupled with some version, uh, various versions of push-ups and handstand push-ups, all right? So the way this is gonna go, there's three parts. It's gonna start with the most reps, 21.59 of hang power cleans with regular push-ups, okay? After you finish that, it should be a sprint, one minute rest. And the reps will go down. It's gonna go to 15.12.9 of hang power cleans, but this time it's kipping handstand push-ups. So a little bit harder version, but less reps. And then you get a minute rest. And the last version is the hardest version, but least reps, 12, nine, six for the reps. And it's gonna be hang power cleans again with strict handstand pushups for the last round, okay? So the way you wanna think about this is the, the hang power cleans are light the entire time. Okay, you gotta do, you gotta do those every single set. So that's a lot, big volume. And then it's three versions of pushups or pressing that get progressively harder. So if you cannot do this as prescribed or you don't have kipping handstand pushups, I'll give you some options, but basically think, First round is easy and fast. Second round is moderately challenging. Third round is the most challenging, okay? So hang power cleans, going from the hang position. So we're gonna stand up. We're doing that barbell cycling, chest is tall. Gonna jump. Ideally a weight you can connect the bar. Again, watching from the side. Okay, the chest stays up. I receive the bar and catch again. Okay, that's how you should be going through most of this workout for that movement, okay? For the regular push-ups, okay? We always wanna have a nice straight line from the shoulder down to the ankle, touching the chest at the bottom, and getting a good lockout, okay? So good quality reps for the push-up. A way that you can scale that would be to elevate your hands, all right? So the higher your hands go, the easier this gets. And this allows you to work on um, keeping that good plank position. So do some version, again, easy push-ups, elevate, you can even use a band around your hips if you need. Then you get a minute rest. The next round, less reps, hang power cleans again. We're going to kipping handstand push-up. So kipping handstand push-up, all right, lower down. Hips to the wall first, bring the feet down, load, and drive back up. Okay, so if that's hard for you, you can grab a set of dumbbells and do dumbbell push press. Okay, something like that. Or um, you can do some other version of 
like an easier version of, of uh, handstand push-ups. So maybe you can do a down dog version that is hard but doable at a little bit faster pace. All right. So those are some options you have for the second round. The third one is meant to be the hang power cleans with strict handstand push-ups. So this one's hard. You can go again. If this is hard for you, you can do that. Okay. You can put your feet elevated on something that makes it even harder. Okay. Um, or you can, for the dumbbells, for this one, do a seated as your handstand push-up. So a lot of ways you can approach that. Again, think easy to hard. Have fun with it, guys. See you tomorrow.